Okay, here we've got a Tesla cell. Well, what's left of it. I've been slowly chipping away at it, getting it all, all broken down and taking all these, harvesting these cells out of it anyway. Um, now, to take this plasticky stuff off is actually quite difficult to do. I've got some pretty cool tools. Big hammer, a big flat-ended screwdriver. So what I've been doing is trying to get onto the little bit there, hitting it with the hammer. It's quite brutal. Chipping a little tiny piece off. Comes off in tiny pieces like this. Now, another way I've found to do it, makes it a bit easier. Got some isopropyl spray, which I just spray on. And what this does is, it actually makes the this plastic stuff even more brittle, and it loosens off the glue that is holding these cells in. So it kind of makes it a bit looser and comes off easier. So right there across all these start knocking them off one by one. Like that. Now this is where, sorry for my camera angles, so I'm knocking them off one by one like that. Oops. The more difficult bit where it swaps over from positive to negative, but still, just keep trucking. I quite enjoy doing this actually. Then you get to a point of where you've run out, you can't really do any more, so we have to turn it over so I can do this top bit. It's the scariest bit. I'm get that bit off, and then just get it all extra wet. It's all right. It's because, uh, especially if it's had water on it, it gets rid of all the water as well. where you can damage cells now. It starts getting difficult like this. Well, there you go. I hope that kind of uh, helps a little bit with anyone else. Um, I don't recommend doing this. 
but I was giving it for free, so I'm giving it a go. Uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day.